When a man admits to you that he has a mental health issue, I think it's a really good thing. But um, it's something that should be um, being worked on. You know, it shouldn't just be like, oh, I'll, you know, I know I have these issues. And, you know, I am not seeking out the help yet, but I will. Or however they phrase it. Because if they aren't seeking out the help in someone else, universally, spiritually, somehow you have become their healer because you have healing in you. So you will become their healer and they're going to start depending on you, not understanding what that is in you that really loves, that really makes them love you the way that they do or attach to you the way that they do. Um, you will become their healer because they're not taking the proper steps to heal themselves. So just be careful with that. I, I have experienced that a lot in my life, becoming people's healers, just friendships and family and relationships. It is very draining. And it's cool, you know, to be there for someone, but it should be reciprocal. It should be a balanced relationship. It should be, okay, we're both, okay, we're healing. You know, but we understand how to heal each other and we balance each other and we don't trigger each other and we understand each other's triggers because during our during our healing process, we've communicated to each other what our triggers are and we're healing through that together, you know, not um, helping you heal. Oh, baby, come lay on my lap and cry to me all the time. Nah, I mean, cry to me, cry to me, but let me cry to you too. You know what I'm saying? So... It's um, it's definitely a proper balancing act. But just I would just, I just know I've just been through this. If you feel like you are a healer and you attract men or women who are wounded, and you become like attached to their pain and wanting to heal them, that's very toxic and it's very dangerous for yourself because you're putting someone else first and trying to heal them. Where you're gonna deplete yourself, drain your energy. And focusing on them and making sure that, okay, are they following up with this healing? You ain't got no time for that. Follow up with your own healing, you know, and focus on yourself. And then they'll come around and, and ensure that it's a balanced type of situation, you know.